coming up on a positive note. Dude, that means a 90% match! A sibling connection deeper than anything you can imagine, plus... What are some of your memorable experiences? School's in session, but we won't need textbooks for this life-changing lesson. And a boxing champ making lives better both in and out of the ring. When I first met him, I thought, oh, I met God himself. You're watching News 12 Plus, where all of our news is good news. Welcome back, my name is Judea Murray and you're watching on a positive note. Today we're starting off in the Bronx where there's an amazing artist with a bright entrepreneurial spirit. It started when he was four, now at 12 years old he's showing no signs of slowing down, no matter what gets thrown in his way. I just go with the flow and then when I'm done I just, just open up my eyes and be like, did I do that? It's a creative flow that Keelan Oliver's used to by now. And I'm just drawing, just doing the lines, everything, just going like, like magic. He's been sculpting, drawing, and creating since he was four years old. Everything comes from inspiration, what you see. Inspired by anime from a young age, Keelan started creating his own characters. This is the first Froki. One by one, making their own names and personalities. Oh, this is Empora. She's strong and she's an independent woman. They're called Kings of Hope. He's made posters and clothing, selling around 120 items so far. This is this is a big thing because this can go somewhere. His mom says he was diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD last year. I love ELA. The diagnosis, though, has only made Keelan work harder at school. I just kept on pushing and make my grades better and started getting more help. And pushed him even harder to complete his own comic book. Even though I have trouble reading, I'm gonna be an author. So who am I to be like, let me help my son. I wanna help him see how far he could go and how far he wants to take this. And Keelan wants to take it far. And if any bad comes toward you, try to block it out and make sure you keep on striving for what you wanna do in life. So keep an eye on these Kings of Hope items and this king of positivity. So I just keep on doing it. I just love to see people smile and that makes me smile. So if everybody's happy, I should be happy, right? <laughs> Ain't bad to that. <laughs> Amen indeed. That's the type of positive outlook we all need. Now, I know some people find social media to be just a waste of time, but this story proves just how helpful it can be too. Phoenix was stolen from her home at an animal orphanage in New Jersey. The shelter's employees noticed she was gone and took to social media hoping someone would find her. The post went viral and soon enough the shelter got a call that the puppy was left in a PetSmart bathroom. But wait, the story gets better. Not only was Phoenix found safe and sound, but she was quickly adopted and now she has a loving family to call her own. That's because good always triumphs. <laughs> now let's take it over to Brooklyn for a moment. A mom-to-be is making headlines for inventing a device that will help her bond with her new baby. Kimberly Meikle is a breast cancer survivor, and pretty soon, she'll also be a mommy. The only problem is a few years ago, she had a double mastectomy, meaning she won't be able to breastfeed. That motivated Meikle to search for other options. I was looking on the internet for something, just something that would help me to fill the void, something that would help me to be able to supplement breastfeeding. I couldn't find anything, so I thought, you know what? I can't find anything, I'm gonna invent something. And that's when I came up with this inven invention. Two years ago, she invented our bonding buddy, a breastfeeding simulator that'll give mommy and baby more special moments together. Now with a prototype and patent, Miko can help thousands of women out there just like her. And it doesn't just stop there. This could help so many different types of people, heck, even the daddies who just wanna give it a try. Now our next story is about a Westchester man who grew up homeless and oftentimes went without. But now that he's older and made it on his feet, he's using those childhood memories to write inspiring and hilarious children's books. We lived in my father's station wagon for a little bit. We didn't have underwear. A lot of times we didn't have a uh, thing to eat. Despite the years. My father left when I was 12. 40-year-old Joey Olson remembers the hardship of growing up homeless with his mother and six siblings like it was yesterday. Growing up poor, we bathed under fire hydrants, um, hand-me-downs things like that. Olson says he turned to writing early on as a way to escape. Put me in a better place. Now, as an adult living in Cornwall with two boys of his own, he's living a new chapter. Nick and Alex were laughing on their way through the cornfield. As children's book author. It's uh, 
uh, a soul evolving, in a sense. His newest book, Do You Smell That?, is about farm animals that wear underpants, a concept that, for Olson, transforms his painful memories of going without proper clothing as a kid into something fun. When he's not writing, the self-taught author can often be found reading in costume to kids in school. Just to be there and to be silly, it's fantastic. It really does feel good. A portion of the book sales will buy underwear for local children in need. And Olson says he hopes his story will serve as inspiration and proof that anything is possible. You can make something of yourself and, 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 and do whatever despite all the obstacles that you actually may face. That story reminds me that it's not what happens to you in life that defines you. It's how you react to it. So Joey, that means you're well on your way. And actually, there's a man in the Bronx who seems to live by this code too. He started in the streets and made his way to the ring. They call him Mr. T, but he doesn't pity the fool. Instead, he helps others. Just watch, you'll see what I mean. TNT, AKA Mr. T. When I first met him, I thought, oh, I met God himself. I'm a five-time Golden Glove champ from the Boogie Down Bronx. I didn't really have much going on for myself until I met uh, my trainer. Mr. T, as he's known around the ring, hung up his own gloves, and nowadays can be found lacing them up for his students. They changed my life, actually. But his students will argue that Mr. T changed theirs. Well, the person that I was before this was I wasn't proud of. Um, I was gangbanging the streets. I didn't have that much respect for a lot of people. I was just messed up individual, just drinking, smoking. These guys were saved by the bell before they experienced a knockout. There's no bullets flying over here. It's just, it's just hands that's just flying now, so. I'm grateful. Mr. T saved their lives because he was once in their shoes. I was one of them kids on the street, and I was getting in a lot of trouble, and, and my brother took me to the gym one day. After much success in the ring, Mr. T can now be found cheering and encouraging from beyond the ropes. Keep working, keep working. I matured as a man, and, and I built character. I found my soul. I'm in peace again with myself. I don't just want you to be a great fighter. I want you to be a great person, a great individual. That's what I'm talking about. Halloween may be over, but some elementary school teachers in Westchester are still going viral for their creative costumes. And now they're challenging students and teachers worldwide to come up with something even better. A one of a kind. Transform! Transformation. Gone viral on social media. A group of fifth grade Columbus Elementary School teachers in Mount Pleasant put their creativity lessons to the test. Transforming from your ordinary toy car into a superhero. Transform! We started getting into Halloween about three years ago, and every year it just keeps building and building. From a roller coaster <laughs> to Mario Kart. And now the Transformers. The kids were blown away and we just, the looks on their faces, we just were so excited to see that year after year. When the teachers came in the room, I was shocked. I did not know what was happening. Taking weeks of cutting, taping, and gluing. We started on Columbus Day weekend and we wanted to get our, plan, our pieces cut and traced and we literally drove the plans from house to house. <laughs> and we don't live close to each other, so it was kind of a process. All that work, a step up from a typical classroom lesson. Going back and redesigning or tweaking the design is critical, and it's really at what the heart of STEAM process is, just illustrates that for the children. STEAM, meaning science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. These teachers transforming society and sparking young minds. I'm thinking about being a transformer next year now. Just, just go bigger and better, try and um, be inspired by them and try and get a good costume. Maybe when I'm in fifth grade, I could help out. An Optimus Prime concept. That's more than meets the eye. The next time you shop at a popular grocery store, you may see the work of one of your neighbors. Trader Joe's held an Instagram contest asking customers to create an original TJ's themed cartoon with a clever corresponding caption. Countless people posted entries, but the winner hails from our tri-state region. Cartoonist Scott Carr of the Bronx designed this. The cartoon is titled Tis the Seasoning, and it highlights Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. Scott says he carries a sketch pad everywhere with him, never knowing when a winning idea will spark. I'm sure the inspo behind this one was a bacon egg and cheese from his local bodega. Or maybe those sandwiches just inspire me. Now it's time for a little did you know, and I call this the anniversary edition. 
Did you know that one of the first selfies ever taken was snapped 53 years ago? And it was taken by someone from our tri-state. That's right, New Jersey's Buzz Aldrin took what's recognized as the first known selfie. It dates back to 1966 and it was in outer space. Like, just imagine how many likes the shot would have gotten if it were posted on Instagram today. Hashtag Gemini 12, hashtag looking down on y'all, hashtag spaceship and chill, Kim Kardashian who buzz would have easily shattered the internet. All right, sit tight. I've got so much more coming up after this break. A real life lesson in history some Long Island students will never forget. Plus, meet this 102 year old birthday boy who received more gifts than he knows what to do with. You're watching on a positive note. You're on News 12 Plus. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 